we have spacecraft from another species. We do, yeah. UFOs exist. The US government found quite a number of them, and they are indeed of non human origin. They've acknowledged that we don't know what some of this stuff is out there that we have on. What the hell? What is that? His eyes. Okay. His eyes. Okay, you, you are saying to the human race, for the first time, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Oh, oh God. God. Here we go. Everybody else who is willing to break from the fold and tell the truth to the American public about the presence of UAP or UFO, which is fact, it is true, it is real. This report is the first evidence it might be true. The Stardust Ranch. For years, there have been whispers and rumors that the government had aircraft of non human origin. There are these videos that exist. The Navy has released the videos themselves and said, we're not sure exactly what this is that we're seeing. If this is correct, then this changes the fabric of our understanding of what it means to be human. What's up guys, I'm currently standing in the middle of a highway on my way to something called the Star Dust Ranch. For those of you at home who don't know what this place is, this is a place where skinwalkers were first discovered and is currently one of the most investigated properties in the world by the United States government. Tonight, it is my mission to get on that property and get to see exactly what the hell is going on with this skinwalker issue. Some of you may know that I've already done a series on the Skinwalker Ranch one year ago. It'll be up here in the top right for you guys to check it out if you haven't seen it. But in those videos, some crazy things happened and I have a feeling tonight's not gonna be any different. The plan is to get on the property, sneak past security, and find our way onto the ranch and see exactly what these skinwalkers are capable of. Now I gotta mention, this is the first part of the chapter two series on the channel. That is right, I'm starting chapter two and it's gonna be absolutely crazy. This time we're doing skinwalkers, later on we're doing the rake, and also I have a surprise of another series that we've never done on the channel. I think it's gonna be crazy. So if you don't wanna miss any of the parts of chapter two, go down below, subscribe to the channel because I post all kinds of crazy videos just like this one all the time. Also, don't forget to go down below, leave a comment to tell me exactly what you wanna see me do in the future because this channel is no stranger to danger and I'm almost willing to do anything. So go down below, let me know what your ideas are. I'd love to see what you guys wanna see me do next. Well, with all this out of the way, Let's get in the car, let's hit the road, and let's see exactly what the Stardust Ranch has in store for us tonight. Twenty-seven years ago in 1996, a psychiatric therapist by the name of John Edmonds and his wife Joyce, ex-FBI, purchased a property in the middle of nowhere to try to disconnect from the modern world. However, from the moment they moved in, they knew something was completely off. This property was known as the Stardust Ranch, and it quickly became one of the world's most interesting and mysterious properties in the world. And it is said that this place is the single greatest piece of evidence that we have of true extraterrestrial life on Earth. So make sure all of you at home have your bags of popcorn because this one's gonna be a doozy. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Insane. Mm -hmm. When John purchased the house in 1996, the previous owners left everything they had in the house. But the real estate agent who sold John the house said that everything would be moved out within 24 hours. However, when John arrived at the ranch the very next day, he noticed that all of the furniture that was on the property was just tossed in the middle of the field. And you can imagine he was pretty furious. So he gave the real estate agent another call and to his surprise, no one, including the owner, ever touched any of the stuff. So he decided to call the real estate agent one more time and to his surprise, he found out that nobody had gone up to the ranch at all. So if the previous owner or the real estate agent didn't move any of the furniture, the question is, who did? A few days later, after John has settled into his new home, a rough looking man showed up on his property with a machete in his hand and he looked pretty beat up. 
John was suspicious, but he still managed to muster up the courage to go and talk to this person to see what the hell he wanted. And then he mumbled something to John that would stick with John for the rest of his life. You're gonna wish I was here. You were going to be sorry. There are monsters on this property and I killed them. After he said that, the man turned his back against John and started to walk away with John all in his thoughts. He didn't really know what to think of who this person was or why he said such a thing. But soon, John was gonna realize that this man was indeed right. Sometimes in the night, John and his wife would see strange colors in the sky and on the ground that both couldn't be explained by satellites or airplanes. They even saw military helicopters and jets interacting with these lights, and that is something that a few whistleblowers from Area 51 would describe. This is also around the time that John said that skinwalkers started visiting the property. He has said that some of these creatures are 40 inches tall with large compound eyes and gray snake-like skin, and they always try to invade at night. Over the years, John noticed that these skinwalkers had some kind of weird fascination with his wife, Joyce. She has reported that she's been abducted and attacked by these skinwalkers on multiple accounts without the ability to scream at all. Like as if she was in some kind of trance and all her fear that she was holding in while she was being abducted by the skinwalkers would all be lashed out in one moment's notice when she would wake up. And every time she would wake up, she would have these bruises on her body as well as puncture wounds that looked like she was injected with some kind of syringe. John had enough of these messed up attacks and started to buy weaponry for him and his family to protect himself against these skinwalkers as well as his animal friends that he had on the property. Because on multiple accounts, John reported that his animals were being attacked too. Like instances of his horses being found mutilated in the middle of his fields with no known causes of this happening. As if all of its insides were ripped straight up its body and all that was left was the horse's skin. John also had three dogs that all ended up trying to attack some of these skinwalkers when they would visit his property and all three of them died of unknown causes. One night his wife was caught leaving the house being drawn to this cone of light outside. At this time John could do nothing but shoot the craft that he saw in the air until it eventually retreated. Now at this point John hasn't really told anybody about his experiences on the ranch because he didn't want people to think that he's crazy and like you guys have heard so far all of this if you told it to anybody would think you're definitely crazy but John wanted to find evidence that all this was happening. And what I'm about to tell you is legit. This really happened. I'm gonna need you guys to keep an open mind for this because it's absolutely insane. In order to prove that John wasn't crazy, he went to a lab where he would have samples analyzed by an actual professional scientist to see exactly what the hell these things were. There was one point where John was able to slash one of these skinwalkers with a sword and what was left on the tip of the sword was blood skin tissue and some hair that he brought to the lab to get analyzed to see what kind of creature this really was. At this lab there was a famous biophysicist by the name of Levengood who tested these samples and found that the fluid was pure hemoglobin that was identical to samples collected all over the world from manipulated cattle cases that had no explanation. He also managed to find that the blood samples off the sword didn't match any other human or animal specimen on earth. So this blood was literally from out of this world. When they analyzed the tissue off the sword, they found that the skin was like a type of cemented vegetation, but it wasn't of any kind of vegetation that we found on earth. It was more like an unknown plant that was going through animal-based material, which is something that we haven't seen at all ever on earth. After these discoveries, the scientists wrote a letter to John telling him how excited he was about their discovery together and basically told him that they have struck gold by proving alien life on on Earth until he mysteriously disappeared. He stopped responding to John's messages and eventually showed no more interest in doing any work together, which is a huge contrast to when they first met. And one day it was announced that Love and Good suddenly died in a tragic accident in his lab, and coincidentally, all of John's samples went missing. After the death of Leavenwood, a lot of men in black suits are showing up at John's property and asking a lot of suspicious questions and told him that he is no longer allowed to talk about any of this to anybody. And eventually we get to today where the government has taken full control of the Stardust Ranch property and has guards up and down all the roads making sure that nobody gets anywhere near this ranch. So without further ado, I present to you the Stardust Ranch.
Let's shut that. What's happening? Jesus. Fuel level low. Look at that. Wait, what? How's this happening? What's going, going on? on? Like I'm literally, am I just completely out of gas with no warning? That doesn't make any sense. You literally just filled it up. Or you at least had half. Wait. It's not turning on. Did the car just die? I think so. You're joking, right? We're in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what's going on. Like middle of nowhere. That doesn't make any sense. We just filled up like an hour ago. I know, that's what I said to you. What's going on? What's... What the hell is that? What is going on? Something's just taken over my radio. Okay, this is weird. Like Are we just like on some like haunted road on the way to the ranch? Okay, so we're out of gas. Your radio is acting up. What is that even saying? Does that sound like breathing? Okay, no, we're trying. We're, we gotta turn that creepy. off. That's creepy. What the hell do we do about this? Do we... Okay, well, let's not freak out. There was a gas station down the road. Yeah. It didn't look, like, open, but maybe the pump still works. Well, a lot of gas stations are 24 hours anyways. Yeah. And if, if the car isn't moving because we're out of gas, for whatever reason, then we kind of have no choice. Unless you have, you know... An Uber come pick us up well, all we still the way got out here. Like two hours to drive, it says on the map right here. Okay, yeah, two so hours. if we're literally in the middle of nowhere, like, I don't think we have a choice. Okay, just let's see if I fingers, have something for gas in the back. That that gas station is open. Yeah, I hope so. Let's let's check out the back seat. I think I have something for, for gas. Yeah, middle of nowhere. Okay, hopefully, nice. We got, nice. All right, so Handy. unfortunately it's empty. So we do still have to go to the gas station, which could be like a 30 minute. What the hell is that? Wait. 30 minute walk. Okay. I'm just going to turn my car off and then we're gonna start heading that direction, hopefully the gas station soon. All right. We made it. Finally. This the doesn't look... out here are brutal. This doesn't look too promising. Well, the lights are on. Yeah. So that's a good thing. So, guys, it's about 2.35. We've been walking for 30 minutes. And finally... We got to the gas station, so hopefully they have gas. It's about damn time. But, uh, I think that says closed? No. Shit. You're right. Yeah, this whole place looks Oof. abandoned. Holy crap. I was gonna say so many bugs. Look at this. What are you looking Big at? Big mama's over here. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ah! I don't know yeah. If you can see that on the camera. No, you in. definitely can. Yeah, that's gnarly. It's that's massive. A big boy. So, what, are we living in Australia now? <laughs> okay, let's check out this gas station. Hello? Hello? Oh no. What? Look. No, no gas. No gas. Oh, more spiders. No gas. No gas. 
This one has it. That one says. Yeah, we got something here. That one's here. working? Yep. Yo, these things like haven't been touched in forever. I don't know if you guys can see, but there are spider webs literally everywhere. This place is kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie to you. And what, you're gonna, just going to take the gas? I don't have my wallet on me, do you? I got cash. See, it says cash only anyways. Let me see. Okay, yeah, cash only. Well, thank God you had cash. Yeah. They close at eight. So obviously nobody's going to be here. Which is a shame, because it looks like they have snacks. Rip. Bro, there are literally so many bugs here, it's disgusting. Oh my god! That's a big ass moth. So weird. What the fuck? Michelle. Michelle, 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 Michelle. What? Look. See that thing over there? What? That thing! Wait, what? There was like. A thing, a, a person. A person? Yeah, standing over there. Shara, nobody's out. By the here. light. Bro, I know what I saw. Just look around. Look Wait. around. I don't know. At the gas station. Hey guys, look around. Looking around. Don't see anything though. Just see a bunch of bugs. And a little like shack thingy. I wonder where this goes. Maybe not. This place looks like it hasn't been used in forever due to all the bugs around here. Wow, these spiders are eating good out here. Wait, what the hell is this? A butt can, seriously. What the hell is that? Michelle! Michelle, Michelle! What? Can you hurry the hell up, please? Why? Do you see that thing? Who is that? That's why. I don't know. Hello? Who are you? Are you like the owner or something? Hello? Don't worry, we were gonna pay. Why are you just standing there like that? Can you say something? Michelle, hurry the hell up so we can get the hell out of here, please. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. What? What the hell? What is that? His eyes! Okay. His eyes! Okay, Michelle, I'm done. Michelle, I'm Michelle, Michelle! I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. I'm wrapping it up. It's done. Seriously? Put the money and let's get the hell out yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah. Now, hurry, I hurry. It, I got it, I got it. Just in here. What the fuck? Okay, hopefully they're happy. Michelle, he's gone. What the hell? No, I don't have a good feeling about this. The man had red glowing eyes. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. That wasn't him. If that was Skinwalker. A Skinwalker? Are you dead ass right now? Yeah, we need to hurry up and get the hell out of here. I'm just gonna check the corner. Okay. Who's standing right here? Do you see anything? He was literally standing right here. Okay. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. We got the gas, guys. We gave him the cash. We're getting out of here. Let's go. We're gonna get the heck out of here. Yeah. Yo, what? Holy shit. Yo! It's getting closer. There's something literally right in front of us. You see it moving? No, but I... Yo, there's more than one. Okay, okay, hope. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, yeah. Let's right. just go. Get in the car, see if it starts. Okay. Hurry up! Yeah, I'm trying, 
Yo, I literally hear something. Hurry up, Michelle. Yes. Okay, guys. Finally, we got the gas. Whoo! All right. It is extremely late right now, so we're gonna try to get to the ranch as fast as we can. It should be about an hour. So we're gonna cut the camera until we get there. But once we're on the property, we'll be able to start the video and finally explore the Stardust Ranch officially. Let's go. Guys, this is it. We're at the fence of the Stardust Ranch. I saw a guard post down there, down the road. So we gotta do this sneaky because as you can see right here, it says danger authorized personnel only beyond this point. But that's why you guys are subscribed to the channel because we do things that nobody else is doing. So let's try to get over the fence and then hide along the tree line. Hopefully none of the guards spot us. Are you sure you want to do this? I think so. Danger. We came up. Danger. We know what we're signing up for. That's why we're here. We drove all this way. We Just have to do this. Check. Fine. You know, I wouldn't be a good person if I didn't make you think about this. You're going to make me go in there by myself? No, of course not. So let's go. Ranch. I don't see any guards. Oh you okay? Give me a hand Here. before I fall on my face. Okay. All right. Grab this. Oh. Okay, guys. We're on the property. We're on the Stardust Ranch. So we're going to follow the tree line and try to find the ranch. It should be somewhere over the hill and we should be good. You're literally getting attacked by moths. <laughs> the closer we get to the ranch, guys, I think the more bugs are like spawning. One that's just hit like, the camera. Yeah, it's all like moths, like they're everywhere. See? Better than mosquitoes. Yeah, honestly, I'll take moths over mosquitoes. Light over there. I don't know if that's like a guard post. Or if that's yeah, I can see it. I can't see a damn thing. Imagine if we got caught there. 
That would have been a quick end to our adventure, I'd say. It's a close call. Okay, so we should definitely keep moving. Yeah, I think we're here. Before though. we get caught by another security guard Check or if they out. just like randomly show up. Or if we find a slash run into a you know what on the way. So I don't know what that guard was doing there because like people, like they say any of the guards wouldn't come near the ranch. So maybe things are getting like- Worse. Worse, yeah. Like that they have to like keep a perimeter going on near the ranch. Okay. This place is huge. Right? I was gonna say there's so much space out here. Keep an eye out for cameras. Good idea. I don't want to set off any alarms. That would be horrible. Holy crap, it, it goes far. Back Look in at the that. Woods. Yo, this place is massive. Let's just quickly get inside before someone sees us. truth. Let's see if the front door is unlocked. Or back door, I have no idea. Welcome to the Stardust Ranch. Oh, he must have. Did he already look at upstairs? That was fast. Hi. 
Shell? That seems to be clear. How was, uh, leaving upstairs? Where are you? Why are you naked? Michelle, come out here. Michelle? Michelle? What the f Michelle, are you hiding? What the f Yo, what the hell? Hey! Yo! What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm standing in front of you. Like, what kind of joke are you playing? I don't know what kind of joke. You, I told you to meet me here. Yeah, but you were literally in this room. No, I wasn't. And you were being weird. And you were naked. Why'd you get naked? Explain how that's even possible. That's why I'm asking you. Oh, I'm a magician now. Oh, we have jokes. Oh, we have. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Thoughts what you're laugh. talking about. You literally, you were like right here, and you walked in, but you were naked. No, I wasn't. I was searching upstairs. You literally said my name no, when I was didn't. coming upstairs. I didn't say your name. Then who were the foot? Who were, whose footsteps were those? I came from downstairs. I walked here, and then you were in here. Okay, so I'm making things up. Okay, yeah. I'm not saying you're making things up. I'm just saying that I'm not the one that you, per the person you saw. Either well, they jumped then. out the window, or you're going crazy. Jumped out the window, my ass. Window. Window. So unless you are a little jokester and you're being hilarious, where I forgot to laugh, then there's another person in here, or a ghost, or whatever. But for sure, someone was in here. Yeah, I checked the closet, Michelle. I checked the closet. Mm-hmm. But someone was in this room. Well, you're blaming it on me. Which right before you showed sense. up, because it looked like you. How did it look like me? I'm wearing all black. This one was naked. Same skin color, though. So, I don't know what to tell you. Under the bed? Something was under the bed the whole time. <laughs> There's a person. That's freaking scary. Bro, like, you're, not, you're not lying? Seriously? Well, I don't know. Maybe you saw like a... an apparition or something. Oh, something is in here. Hello? Someone in here? Was there anybody upstairs? No, nope, nothing upstairs. Just the bedroom. And like a surveillance area. But nothing crazy. Shara, it's been a long night. Can we just like set up some cameras and just go to bed, let the cameras do the talking? If there's someone in here, if we have like a camera here maybe, like pointing down the hallway. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's an amazing idea. Cause one, I'm tired, and two, when you try to pull that shit again, we'll just be caught on camera and it won't be so funny. <laughs> so, yeah, sure, okay. let's do this. We're gonna set up some cameras around the house. We're here to hunt some of the skinwalkers that have said to lurk in the area. Tonight should be interesting, as well as tomorrow. We're gonna push some cameras outside because I don't think it's really safe to go out there right now, especially with the guard going around saying there's a skinwalker on the east fence. Mm -hmm. Gunshots, I don't wanna deal with that. So let's set up our own cameras in this place. Let's get to bed. And in the morning, we'll check out the footage and see if we caught anything.
guys. So I'm grabbing the camera right now. It's about 10 a.m. in the morning and I've been looking all over the house and Shira is nowhere to be found. She wasn't in the bed in the morning. The back door or like the patio door was like open. So I thought that she would be there, but she's not. And I've looked everywhere in the house. So I'm starting to get a little worried and that's why I kind of turned on the camera just in case we're capturing something like paranormal while this is happening. But I'll just show you guys around. She doesn't seem to be anywhere in sight. And that's not good because you shouldn't be walking around when we're on like government property. Yeah, like see, like these beds are empty. This bed is empty. I have no idea where she could be. And I'm hoping she's not like outside because we don't really want to be spending too much time out there when there's like officers patrolling the area. Is that? Is that her all the way over there? There's no way. Shira? Shira? Is that you? Shira! Bare feet trying to get this girl back inside. Shira, we shouldn't be out here too long. What are you doing out there? What the hell is she thinking? Hey! What are you doing over there? Are you just sleeping outside? Hello? Okay. Jesus. Shara, get up. Where am I? What the hell happened? Are you okay? Where am I? You're in the freaking field. We need to get inside before someone sees us. How did I get here? How did I get here? Now you just screamed. Shara? I just woke up. You weren't, you weren't even in your room. What the hell is that in your arm? What? What is that? I don't know. I think it's itchy. Heck. Oh my god. What? How long have I been here? You have like some kind of like blood mark on your on your neck. I'm so light headed. Stop, 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 stop. What the hell is that? Something happened last night. Okay. Here. We need to come inside. We whoa, whoa. Here, come on. Ow. Let's get you back inside. How did you... Like, do you have any recollection of what happened last night? I don't remember anything. Okay. Come on, let's just get you inside. Okay. What the Where hell am I? I, I? I don't know. Like, I don't remember anything from last night. I didn't wake up or anything. But you must have... Like, were you... You remember waking up? No. I don't remember a single thing. Well, I just woke up and you were in the middle of the field. You just woke me up. And you were sleeping in the middle of the field over there. Like... It's fudged. I don't remember how I got here. Like, I don't remember a single thing. Which is scary. It's just freaking me out, yeah. Like, I, I was like in there looking out and you were just like lying in the middle of the field and then i touched you and then you like screamed like completely blanked i don't remember anything okay this like is like i can for sure say i blacked out and then you have like marks on your neck does this hurt a little but like my whole neck that? is itchy what the hell okay ow yeah this burns then, too yeah, just like some weird like mark on your hand. I don't know how 
I'll explain that. Yo. Yeah, I don't remember a single thing and I don't know how I got outside. Okay, let's just get back inside. We don't want to be out here for too long. We don't know if like the guards are like around. They might have even heard you scream, so. You sure you don't remember anything? No, I don't remember a single thing, because I would never do that. Um, Ow. well, we do have the cameras that we set up last night. So, I'm gonna open my laptop. I'm gonna just see quickly what could have possibly happened to you. So I'm gonna just put this down. Okay, so it seems like you're just like walking around mindlessly. I literally don't remember any of that. Have you ever, like, sleepwalked before? No, I'm not a sleepwalker. Well, obviously you are sleepwalking. So. Yeah, but I don't remember new. any of that. Like, this is insane. Well, I've never sl slept walking in my life. And first day you're here, it starts. And then you even, like, walk outside, which is, like, even weirder. The only thing that I could say was that I had a weird dream of me walking in a field, like a really big field. There was nothing around, it was just a field of grass. And, but it was weird because it felt like there were people watching me. Mm -hmm. And then I eventually look up and I like see with like glowing eyes just like staring at me. But I mean, that was a dream, not yeah. real life. Like, that's why this is insane. Well, I don't know how to explain like the markings on you because you left the house on here I with know, no but markings. I'm just saying, like, are you not understanding how crazy this is? It's weird. It's there's no explanation. Maybe I'm something got speechless. to you while you were like in the field. Bro, like, I'm terrified and confused all at the same time because I don't remember shit. Yeah. You just blacked out. Yeah. Moral of the story is, I ended up outside. Well, Obviously, I there. saw it, but like. Well, sleepwalking is pretty normal. Like, it's not like crazy to think that maybe you had like some kind of dream that allowed you to like wake up, go outside. And yes, it is weird. But then we're at the, we're at Stardust Rants, so weird things are gonna happen. Weird things happened last night. Like, we're not even supposed to be here and already like things are starting to act like messed up. So I I wish we put cameras outside just to have like gotten the whole experience and I think right now would be a good time to get get onto that <laughs> and get the cameras instead of just having them inside let's go outside put cameras in like the barn and the field and see what kind of activity we could get at night when like More things are when happens, things are most happens. active okay so we're gonna try to do this as fast as we can because we don't want any of the guards like walking around and seeing us do this so we're gonna put a camera like facing this doorway because this is where Shira walked out and we just want a bit more footage of I don't know this area so It's far. It's definitely far, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, that's not good. Okay, hurry up, though. You know what it means when it sounds far, right? What do you mean? You know what it means when it's far. So, they say when a skinwalker is yelling, the further it sounds, the closer it is. What? Are you serious? Yeah, so if it sounds like really close, that means it's like super far, but if it sounds far, then that means it's getting closer. So it's kind of like what one of its like- What in the skinwalker logic? So that does sound pretty far. Yeah, I was saying it like a good thing. No, it's a bad thing. Well, I know that now. We have too many things to worry about, skinwalkers, guards. Should we maybe put a camera here? I would say probably the more the merrier. 
Especially in the barn, though, obviously. Yeah, we're gonna go to the barn in a bit. Yeah. Put that guy up. That one's on. Okay. Give me the next tripod. Um, let's try to get one like pointing out over here because you were sitting. Yeah, in this field. Out there. It's a good idea. And if we're going off of your dream, then maybe we're able to like catch something like in the sky. I mean, if my dream was what was really happening, which is insane, then yeah, that would be a good idea. Keep an eye out for. But fingers crossed, it was just a weird sleepwalking. dream, and yeah, I was just sleepwalking for the first time ever. I'm scared a security guard is going to show up. They're not supposed to be around the property anyways. Apparently it's too dangerous. I wonder why. Well, we're going to find out sooner or later. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, I think next we just do the barn. And okay. Then we could just like chill inside, keep it safe, don't explore too much. Yeah, let's go. So hopefully all of our cameras do work for the majority of the night because people that have tried to record the events at the Stardust Ranch, anytime you set up cameras, it's almost as if like the skinwalkers know that you're trying to record them and they try to like play tricks on you. They mess with your cameras. All that fun stuff. Yeah, they're extremely intelligent so we can't underestimate them. What is that? I don't know. Like something freaking died. It stinks, yeah. Where is that smell? It smells it's like, like something's like literally barn. rotting. Barns don't smell like rotting yeah. food, I guess. I don't know what that smell is, but it's good. It's definitely not good to be inhaling whatever the hell that is. <coughs> oh my god. What? What is that? <gasps> Ew! See all the flies? What the? F what is that? Oh. I don't know, like some kind of animal. Just it's like it's literally disgusting. No wonder it stinks. Oh my god! Look at that thing. It what doesn't kind even... of animal is that? I don't know. Look at the head. Oh my god! It almost looked like. Was it burnt or something? No, this is... Ew. Guys, it's like some kind of like carcass. It's just chilling here. There's like flies everywhere. Freaking getting in my face. It's got like a, a rib cage. Some kind of like... Pelvic bone with a spine? Yeah, I do not even want to oh close to that. No, it thank you. Horrible. No, thank you. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's getting it's getting real bad. Let's uh let's figure out where we want to put this camera. Let's grab this. It's too hot out here for it to be some <laughs> for it to be in there. I wonder it stinks. What is that? Someone upstairs. Is there an upstairs to this thing, or are they on the roof? I don't know. Hello? 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 We heard you. We're coming up. It was definitely a person, clearly walking. I don't see anybody. What the fuck? There's nobody here. Do not walk here. You will fall through like I did. What? What was that? Something's in here. Okay, let's set up the camera downstairs. 
Get the hell out of here. Here we go. Got it up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's like the best angle. Get to see everything. If anything comes in, boom, we'll see it. Ready? Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's just, Stinks. Yeah. It's, uh, I'm kind of getting used to it, which is not a good sign. So I think yeah, what we want to do now is... Whoa. What is that? Just scared the shit out of me. Some screaming? What is that? Is it a person? What the f... It's a naked man. Hello? Are you okay? Can we help you? He's just standing there. Hello? What the f What's the chance of uh, a random naked person being all the way out here with us right now? I think the chances are either it's gotta be a skinwalker. It's the only explanation. Who does that? Are you lost? Okay. Private property should leave. I don't think he's listening. What should we do? Well, we can test to see if it's a skinwalker. You sure you really wanna do that? There's no going back after. All we have to do is whistle. I heard whistling to them is like the worst thing you do. What? Yeah, I don't know why. Skinwalker logic is still weird to it me. Make any sense, but Should we try it? I can't whistle. Can you whistle? I can try. Yo. Whoa. Where you go? Whoa. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. What the hell? Inside, inside, inside. Close it, close it, close it. I did, I did, I did. Uh, oh shit. Oh my gosh. He's going to the basement. We gotta lock it. We gotta lock it now. Uh. Come on, come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Oh shit. Oh, oh. shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do you want with us? She we need to lock all the doors now. The rest of them. This is locked. Locked. That one. Is there any other ones in the house? What do we do? The skin locked locked. in the basement. He been locked in there, but no what if he busts down this door? Should we like block it with some things? Like a chair and stuff? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. grab the chair. We need a bigger one, bigger one. This one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, block that door. And the worst thing is that we're not even going to know when he leaves. We're literally stuck in here. We're stuck in here. Well, maybe we just wait it out. Let's just like hang out out there. Because he's not making any more noise. Well, I wouldn't go down and check, Michelle.
the coast clear? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. I've just been chilling in this room for a few hours, and right now, I looked over the balcony, haven't seen anything, and the sun is starting to go down, so I'm thinking we check out the rest of the house, make sure nobody's here. Hopefully, whatever skinwalker was in the basement, hopefully he's gone. We haven't been making any noise, so it shouldn't think we're even in here. And yeah, we're just praying that nothing's in the house and we can start like packing up, getting our cameras, getting the hell out of here. Cause if you ask me, that was like way overboard. Like I don't want to experience that ever again. Let's try to be as quiet as possible. No noises. We thought whatever this thing, he probably just like walked away. We need to check the other rooms. Nothing. It's squeaky clean in here. What the hell? Seriously, you're gonna make yeah. me check the closet. Yeah, check every corner. Make sure it's not in here. Have a knife or something? Like, what the hell are we doing walking around with the, the goddamn flashlight? I got muscles. Oh, what the hell? Hello? Oh my god. Where is it? Uh, it's coming from everywhere. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
What's going on? Yo! Yo! What is that? Oh my god! 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 out of here now this is too much even for us and you get in, know it get in the room get in the room <sighs> Fuck, what do we do about this this is way out of our league right now we need to get the hell out of here what was that vibration i don't know but it felt like it was literally underneath us it happened last time and the bangs At the skinwalker ranch same thing not the bangs. This this one's different. This one Michelle, seems like more me stuff. Is anyone outside? No. It's currently eight o'clock. We have like 30, 40 minutes left of sunlight. We need to pack all our stuff. I'm gonna head outside. I'm gonna grab all the cameras. And hopefully by the time everything's packed, we get the hell out of here. Just when nightfall happens, just before the guards who like see us walking around, because I don't think we're even able to cross that like open valley without a guard seeing us with the sun out. So right when the sun starts setting, get the cameras, pack everything, and then head out as soon as it's nighttime. I'm done with the freaking Stardust Ranch, guys. Skinwalkers are something you guys shouldn't be messing around with. Do not come here, do not do what we're doing because Things here are just absolutely messed up. And seriously, for the people watching this video in its entirety, thank you so much. If you like this type of content, you need to subscribe because I have a feeling we're not done here. Let's get those cameras. Let's get the hell out of here. Okay, guys. So, just turning the camera on just to give you guys an update. We've just been packing a lot inside the ranch and I've gotten all the other cameras from outside except the one by the door and the other one by the barn. So right now I'm just going to the barn to grab the second last camera. But me and Shire are so excited to get out of here. You guys do not understand. This entire time it feels like we've been watched by like every single angle, whatever we do. It's almost like they're kind of like toying with us this entire time. So we've had enough. We've encountered the Skinwalker and that experience was so horrifying that I just want to get this over with. So let's get inside the barn, grab the camera. Let's see if this is still here. Yeah. This is like, man, you guys, I don't even know like how to explain how bad this smells, but oh man, this is like freaking disgusting. Not sure if this captured anything, but we're gonna find out after I edit. I'll just press this. Should be good. I'm gonna fold this. What's that? Okay, that was weird. Alrighty. Let's get the hell out of here. Saw skin worker walking in the house. Shit. Shire's in there. Oh god. No, 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 no. She's all the way upstairs. Okay. I gotta do this. Sneakily. Thank you. 
Hey, hey. Are you done? Yeah, I'm just about done. Well, you need to pick it up because we need to get out of here now. Yeah, I know that. Should just get the hell out of here. Oh my god! Did you hear running? Shit, it's out the door! It's coming! Get to the woods! Get to the woods! Let's go! Get in the woods now! 